This is the Jet Age Museum near Gloucester, and today the place is buzzing. Volunteers who work here have completed a major restoration project, and a space is already so it can sit in pride of place amongst the exhibits. Bang on time, the project in question hoves into view, pulled by an historic aeroplane tug. It's the cockpit of a rare Hawker Typhoon. Volunteers have spent over 7,000 hours reconstructing the plane from a few mangled remains discovered in a Chippenham scrapyard in 1996. And greeting the aeroplane, Second World War veterans Derek Lovell and Paddy Byrne. They both flew the Hawker Typhoon during the Second World War. The cockpit was then carefully moved to a rear entrance of the museum and taken from the trailer. OK, you're there. Oh, I don't know if I had it, I'd scrap it for 50 quid, I think. No, it's nice to see it. Yes, it's a memory of, for people, that people see what things were like, you know, long ago. Just brings back memories, doesn't it, Derek? It hasn't changed at all. It's, it's as big as I remember. 3,300 Hawker Typhoon were built here in Gloucestershire, but the plane wasn't a huge success and has largely been forgotten. But one lady who will never forget, though, is 97-year-old Peggy Fisher, who built Typhoon during the war. She ceremonially put in the final rivet, a job she hasn't done since 1944. We felt we were doing, you know, a good job. The men didn't enjoy us going into the factory because we were taking on their jobs. But I met some very nice people and had a very happy time. Yes. I noticed today when you had that tool in your hands again and you were straight there, it took you straight back, didn't it? I didn't realise it was so heavy. To think I was working with that all day sometimes, yes. It really is quite heavy. But with a little practice, I could do it, the job all over again. Yes, I could. I know I could. I'm 97 now. The recreation is astonishing in its detail. Everything accurate, a huge engineering effort. People will be able to come in here and see, and see what Gloucestershire was all about as the aviation of the county. And also, you know, our strap line is to preserve the past and to inspire the young. So hopefully youngsters will come in here, see what it's all about inspire them to be engineers and go on and carry on in the engineering and the aircraft industry which is part, all part of this county is what we celebrate in the museum here. A piece of the past, preserved forever, welcomed by those who flew and built the plane. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Gloucestershire.